Today we're going to talk about heat shielding, but what I'd like to do before that, while we had the rear of this car apart, is show you the fuel tank and exposed view from the rear. So I'm sure those of you that had a look at our, our, um, our video the other day could see how low the, the fuel tank in last year's car was in the ZB. And this one's very high. This is a really good example of how the fuel tank is going to sit in these cars. And while we're looking from this angle, if you have a look where the tail shaft goes, very, very small hole. I've got a uh, standard VE one and, and uh, one out of these cars. When we're starting to piece them together, I'll do a video on it so I can show you the difference. It's really interesting. Now, if we slide around to the front of the car, I'd like to show you how, what we're doing with heat shielding. So temperature is a really big problem in all supercars. Now we run um, a non-standard chassis that's handmade. Usually the firewalls are pretty flat and it doesn't allow for the air to escape underneath the car as easily. So when the temperature in the cars is getting up upwards to 60 or 65 degrees C, it's really important to try and contain as much temperature out of the cabin as we can. So this is standard for all uh, Gen 3 cars. We have to run this heat shielding on the firewall. So you can see that it's not that thick, but it's, it's obviously, uh, well, hopefully it's gonna do the job. Certainly has been with the prototypes. So we stick this all against the wall the firewall of the car and then we run around the edge with this really thin silver tape to seal it off so no oil or petrol or anything can get in there and start to lift it off and 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 make it not work as well we also run heat shielding on the exhaust under the car hasn't actually been uh given to us what we what we need to do yet but once that comes out then we'll manufacture all that and put it on the car so uh just as a finishing point getting a lot of questions about different things with the car, which we'll answer or try to as we do these videos. One question was who designed the car? Predominantly it's been done by Triple Eight. Um, other teams have done little things, but, but predominantly the chassis was done by Triple Eight um, uh, and Supercars release all the designs to us.